Hello, YouTube. Bill here with Royal Lawn Care. We've got a small unboxing today and a little bit of grass seed. Does that make you dizzy to walk around the trailer like that? There's the neighbor's dogs in the video. So we've got a few things here. We can get us a little broadcast spreader, pull it behind the little John Deere 110. So we'll have two videos on that, some John Deere 110 videos, and we'll have some lawn care videos. A little unboxing on both. So anyway, this is where we're going to start. we got a few bags of lime, a few bags of organite, a few bags of tall turf fescue, and i got one special customer. Gonna need a little bit of this beautiful dark green colored dense uniform turf, good for high traffic areas. Uh, premium grass seed. It's a uh, shade mix, or not a shade mix, it's a shade tolerant grass. It's Oracle Red Fescue. Now, they really hyped it up to me. I don't know how good it is. We'll take a look at that on a video. So, I got Two bags. I only need five pounds for one of my customers, but you know, I follow the method of throw it down. Grass is cheap. Dirt gets you fired. So we're gonna finish this video up by unboxing the John Deere broadcast spreader. Okay, YouTube. Bill here with Royal Lawn Care. I'm gonna try to make a video. We can't seem to get started today. I told you on the beginning of this one, we're going to do an unboxing. I went and bought this little John Deere spreader to go with my little John Deere 110. So, you guys know that I just can't seem to retire that old antique, and they haven't made anything as good as the old round fender John Deere yet. So, instead of pushing around all these three and four hundred dollar spreaders, I thought I'd go ahead and try one of these two hundred dollar spreaders that you can pick up at the big box store. And they pack it in here. It's got our hitch. Take a look down in the box, you can see got your book and parts. Let's see if there's anything else here. There we go. There's our selector. Now, I had that other, I like the spring loaded on that. I had that other hand push spread, but the problem with it was the gate adjustment was on this real flimsy rod and the rod would flex and you would open it to where it was like three or four or five and you might get three here one time three here one time or three here one time this it's, it's retired so I'm gonna do some modifications to it or maybe even return it so I'm gonna imagine that this is gonna be our part of our rod I have to put the right end in that'll go in here I'm not gonna click it in because I'll probably never get it back out and that'll be, once it's in, that'll be what slides you back and forth. That's a lot stronger rod that was, that's time and a half the diameter of the other control rod on the hand push one. So we're almost down to the last of the loose parts floating around inside the box before we pull out the hopper. There's your drive axle that runs your, okay, both, both sides are locked in instead of like on a hand push where you've only got one side pushed in when you turn 
right, you stop spreading. If you turn left, you continue spreading. And it just, on the uh, hand push, it just piles up on the spreader wheel. And you don't get a good even an application on that. So, at least on this, you're just going to be making big wide loops. So, here's our hopper. Love the new smell. And what everybody that loves John Deere loves. Here's our yellow, green and yellow. We're almost out of here. got a pretty heavy gauge plastic spreader and then there's the last piece down in the very bottom box is I believe empty so that's everything out of the box now the next part of the video is going to show everything assembled and once we get everything assembled we'll use it a couple times we'll rate it review it Tell you what I like and don't like about it. Until then. Well, here's a 130 John Deere spreader loaded up on the back of the trailer. Getting ready to throw a little aeration and seed fertilizer down. So after we're done doing that, I'll give you a review on it. The only problem I had with assembly was it tells you to bolt the hopper onto this bar and then come back and bolt these braces on. I didn't like that. That was something that should have been omitted. Instead of taking it apart, just leave these two bolts out at the top, bolt the ones at the bottom back, then put your cross braces on it. Alright, let's get ready to use this thing.